So, Prince Harry in court shock, as the newspaper's uh, headlines may have it. Yes, Prince Harry has arrived at the High Court at the start of legal proceedings involving alleged phone hacking involving the publishers of the Daily uh, Mail newspaper, The Mail on Sunday. The Duke of Sussex, among individuals including Sir Elton John, Liz Hurley, Sadie Frost and others, suing associated newspapers, where he arrived with the security detail before bumping into a photographer outside the court building, then quickly ushered uh, inside by his security. Joining us in the studio now, our royal reporter, uh, Cameron Walker. So he is literally having his day in court. Yeah, he absolutely is having his day in court. And I think perhaps for Harry, it's a long time coming. The it's only a preliminary hearing we've got today, which is basically a judge deciding whether or not to see if there's enough evidence to go to a full-blown trial. Which is why we weren't expecting him to, well, to turn up. Exactly. Person, yeah. Bearing in mind he lives in California now. But I yeah. think this shows just how determined and committed Prince Harry is to to holding what he sees as powerful people to account for alleged wrongdoing. I mean, some of the accusations here, um, pri hiring private investigators to secretly place listening devices inside people's cars, listening to private telephone calls, payments of police with corrupt links to private investigators for information, impersonation to obtain medical information from private hospitals, the list goes on. Um, association newspapers are saying that all of this is preposterous smears and it's trying to, and orchestrated attempts to drag the Daily Mail and Mail and Sunday, uh, Mail on Sunday even, of um, dragging them into the phone hacking scandal. So they are denying all the allegations. But I think the fact that so many celebrities, or high-profile figures at least, have come together to launch this legal proceedings uh, stresses just how serious they believe this is. Yeah, and, and just to explain to people that this is, in, in when you say preliminary hearing, Associated Newspapers trying to argue to the judge there's not enough evidence for this to go ahead into a, a full hearing. Yes, exactly, and they are saying that the claims have been brought too late. A lot of this dates back to the early 2000s and, and late 90s, these allegations, and they are saying too much time has passed for, um, basically, for, it, for, for any case to be answerable. Mm. Um, um, and they are also saying there is not enough evidence um, to to go to a full-blown trial. Clearly, Prince Harry's lawyers, um, I think it's Hamlin's law firm, um, and, and the other um, high-profile people involved believe there is enough evidence to go to trial. Yeah. And that is what this preliminary right. hearing this week will find out. Now, there's other legal um, uh, action in terms of his uh, argument with the Home Office over security arrangements. So we don't quite know who the security detail was in, in terms of this... Uh, arrival at court, but it was it's slightly comical in that he actually bumps into a photographer, yeah, bearing in mind all, all the issues about media intrusion. I know, I think Prince Harry only thought he'd be clashing with the press inside the courtroom, but uh, outside the courtroom he was as well. And you're right, he had um, some security people with him, but they would not have been Metropolitan Police officers as far as we are so aware. So here we go, so he's, he's got the photographers around there, he smiles I think and obviously talks to someone. Yeah, he's smiling at the press there. pen. Uh, reporter Eddie Costello, and then bang, actually. He goes straight into another camera. Yeah. Um, so one wonders perhaps where he has got a point when he's saying, I need proper security when I come to Britain. Uh, um, but the other issue, which everyone is asking, will he now meet the King? Will he now meet the Prince of Wales? Um, and Buckingham Palace have sort of been a, a bit sniffy, saying, oh, the King's not in Windsor or in London. Uh, the Prince of Wales is not at Windsor either. Yeah, so from my understanding, uh, the Prince of Wales and Princess of Wales and their three children are not in Windsor. It's the Easter holidays. They broke up from their school on Friday, so they are not in Windsor, so therefore not a stone's throw away from Frogmore Cottage, where Harry will be staying, because he still has that the rent on that property for this month, at least. Um, and the King and Queen Consorts are also not in Windsor or London. So from my understanding and from what um, the Press Association are reporting, Buckingham Palace is saying no meeting is likely with um, between the King and his youngest right. son either. But you have to ask the question, it's not that far to travel around anywhere in the United Kingdom. There's also phone calls and, of course, presumably the King... And the Queen Consort's diary is very clear. At because the start they're of this not week. in France. They were due to yeah. be in Paris today, and then that's been cancelled or postponed. Exactly. Yeah. They were meant to be in, arrive in Paris last night and be there today and tomorrow. That's now no longer happening. So, unless, unless his diary's been filled up very, very quickly, it looks pretty empty to me. Right. Watch this space.